Uh, my focus here is on the sectors of information technology, electronic systems, design and manufacturing, biotechnology, and AVGC, that is animation, visual effects, graphics, and comics. Uh, the Karnataka strengths in IT sector is pretty well known. Uh, but what is, uh, you know, little known is the fact that it's not just in services, uh, area of services exports, but Karnataka uh, and Bangalore are also very good uh, hub for high-tech sectors. In the recent times, uh, whether you talk about cybersecurity, big data analytics, or Internet of Things, a uh, lot of work is being done here to, from start -up, by startups and also by the multinational companies. The presence of huge talent, which is uh, also you know, focused on high-tech sectors, has led to uh, many multinational companies opening their global innovation centers in Bangalore, in Karnataka. But when I'm speaking about IT, I also don't want to focus just on Bangalore. If you go to Hubli today, you find very good companies which are working for uh, multinationals like Texas Instruments established there. So there is a very vibrant and thriving ecosystem of startups also in the two-tier cities. Similarly, Belgavi is making a name for itself in aerospace related, uh, you know, electronics related to aerospace and defense. Uh, so far as the opportunities in both electronics and, um, and IT are concerned, in information technology, we now want to go to the next stage. So the focus is on the high-tech areas, and the focus is also very much on electronics, making in Karnataka. And to that uh, you know, end, government of Karnataka is also setting up common instrumentation facilities, not just in Bangalore, but also in many two-tier cities, so that from services, while focusing and retaining our strength on that, in, in that area, we also move into electronics manufacturing. The kind of collaborations we see is between institutions, um, especially in terms of in R&D work, in student exchange, internship opportunities, and also, and this is very important, a lot of MSMEs and startups from uh, Bangalore, Karnataka are looking for go-to-market opportunities elsewhere. So we need associations and businesses um, which may be led by NRIs to provide that opportunity, that, that platform for startups and uh, you know, MSMEs here to bring them in touch with similarly interested groups in the other uh, you know, countries. We are also looking for launch pads or landing hubs for startups and MSMEs, and we are also willing to provide that opportunity to startups and MSMEs from other countries. Coming to the animation sector, this is a sunshine sector. Mr. Biren Ghosh is here in association with ABI, which is the industry body. Government has also taken very many initiatives to ensure this sector is further strengthened. We have digital arts centers, which are actually focusing on uh, training students, developing skills in using digital media. In addition, there is a focus on setting up a digital media city and post-production labs. Um, many of you may know that whether you, when you talk about any Oscar nominated or a, a film that has won like Life of Pi or Jungle Book or any other visual effects, uh, is, uh, you know, movies or games or comics, there is always some part that belongs to Bangalore. And uh, this is the sector which we want to promote much because here the opportunities for creating employment in two to your cities is vast. So we are looking for collaborations here especially from hubs, which are very good in animations. And in our draft AVGC policy, which, is, which will be shortly finalized, we are also looking at providing production grants for international productions. So if there are inter MNCs and uh, companies which would like to uh, use the skill manpower here and provide and make either animation or uh, visual effects or gaming or comic related output, there, there is a production grant that would be made available to them through the state government. Coming to biotechnology, area of biotechnology, um, everybody knows about biocon and the fact that many biosimilars which are, you know, which, which can be used as substitutes for insulin have been developed here. But little known fact is that we have Navia Biologicals in Hubli, which is also doing wonderful R&D work. And we have other, uh, you know, important biotech companies like Strand Life Services, etc. In this context also here, 
Uh, we are looking at collaborations. Recently, we had um, and entered into a memorandum of understanding with the Hague, which focuses on technology, uh, genetic research, and also in providing opportunities for startups, and also in uh, you know related uh, activities. So we are open to collaborations with biotech hubs in other parts of the world, especially focusing on uh, agriculture, bio agriculture, and you know other also biopharma, but with mo most focus on agri bio and even including animal biotech and marine biotech. Uh, to that uh, end, we have also set up um, in collaboration with the universities, in collaboration with the veterinary university in Bidar, uh, animal uh, you know, incubator, which is focusing on animal biotech is being set up. Similarly, in agriculture in, uh, universities, we are setting up incubators which are focusing on agri bio. So there is a lot of R&D also which has been developed by you, these universities which is being commercialized through this technology business incubators. So these are the areas where we would like to uh, invite collaborations from all of you here. You could go back and probably, whether if you belong to an institution or a business or a chamber of commerce, if you could get in touch with us then we could really work on further strengthening and building on this collaboration. For the contact information, the details are given here. Thank you. That was Ms. V. Manjula. Additional Chief Secretary to the Government, Information Technology, Biotechnology and Science and Technology Department, Government of Karnataka. Looking at something that is in the very DNA of the state. How about higher education? What is that investment scenario looking like? Maybe a good idea to ask this 1985 batch IAS officer of Karnataka Kada, who holds a post of the additional Chief Secretary of Education Department in the Government of Karnataka. I'm speaking about Mr. Bharat Lal Meena, who is a Principal Secretary of the Urban Development Department and Commissioner of the Brahat Bengaluru Mahanagara Palike. Mr. Meena is a postgrad in political science as well as in rural development. Mr. Meena. <laughs> Good afternoon.